Hey guys. So this is my portable Nintendo 64 and I'm going to show you how I made it. I bought an old broken Nintendo. A game. This is a 3.2 inch touch screen. We have a power switch working which turns on the LED. So I can change the mode of the LEDs right here. And it looks even better in the dark. It's quite nice. Then I have audio right here. Uh, behind this slot is the battery pack I'm going to show you soon. Here is uh, HDMI. And now I'm going to open it for you. Here's the battery. It's just plugged in into these ports. This is the LiPo I used. I have to try how, how long it lasts. So let's open this. So here we go. I have to unplug the screen as you see. And that's it. This is the connection of the screen. And I opened the game, cut this out and put the screen in. And when I did this, I had to solder all these cables on onto the screen because otherwise the screen would have been too thick for for the cartridge. So then this is the LED light I just glued in. And it's shining through this Nintendo logo because I cut off all this plastic. I had to cut a lot of plastic right here just to make everything fit. I have this switch here which turns on the LED. This is all, all connected to the LED. This is the main power supply. It's coming from, from directly from the battery and it's separated right here. It goes once to the LED and one time to the Raspberry. Right here I have four USB slots. It's just connected to the Raspberry. The audio which goes over here and the main power supply. And the power goes from the LiPo which has 7.4 volts going in into this little thing here this one it's called a UBEC and it's providing the right voltage it's changing the 7.4 volts into 5 I get 5 volts for the Raspberry and for the LED the, this LED used to be uh, USB connected LED, but I just cut the cable and soldered them on. So then we have the HDMI, which can be used. Uh, I can use HDMI or the screen, and it's just right there. Then, as you see, I had to cut here a lot of plastic too, just to make everything fit and make this little slot here for the lipo just for it to stay in the right place so now i'm gonna show you how i boot this thing up i just plug in the battery in its slot 
connect the wires. It's a little bit tricky with one hand. Wait a second. Wire number one. Plus and minus. Okay. It's on. LEDs are still turned on. Now the system will boot up. RetroPie. It's quite easy to install. We just download the image, get it on a SD card, and you're ready to go. The only problems I had was um, getting the screen to work. It's a little bit tricky, but you get the best help at the website sudomod.com. They have a very nice forum. So let's plug back in. And it looks like quite like a regular Nintendo 64, just with the HDMI. And a strange looking game. So the audio. I could have built in speakers, but when I'm playing in the park and freaking people out, I use headphones. So I can use quite every every USB pad. So here we go. And we have all the emulators. So let's look at some game. Here we go, Harvest Moon. I can play Super Nintendo, Game Boy, everything up to Dreamcast. There it is. So that's the portable Nintendo 64. It makes no sense, but it looks cool. And people are always wondering if they see funny things like that. I hope you liked it and I'm gonna post all the material, all the links I, I used in the description. And I hope to see you soon.